One-year-old Brittany, not her real name, plays in the arms of her HIV-positive mother, Hadija Namugambe, before a doctor examines her at a health facility in Kampala. But this is only a routine checkup. The little girl is healthy, thanks to a treatment that has saved thousands of babies born with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. <laughs> Hadija and her daughter tested positive for HIV in June last year. Natandike Dagala Aqua Life Medical Clinic Services, Mwezi Gokutano. Numwana wango mwala, nebe langa kosa silap. The treatment saves over 100,000 children every year, a massive success story in a country with almost 1.5 million people living with HIV and AIDS. The World Health Organization guidelines on pediatric treatment for HIV encourage enrolling infected children on medication for viral suppression. At 18 months, if the child tests positive, we enroll them on ARVs, we counsel the mother and guide them on how to give them the medication. But how is the prescription determined? So for children who come from the community, we normally look at what age they are. If above 18 months, we do a rapid antibody test. If it turns positive, the child is confirmed HIV positive. However, if the child is less than 18 months, we do, antibody, we, we do a DNA PCR test, which takes a month to receive results. Meanwhile, we keep the baby on septory. In children, we give, we give them according to kilogram weight. In June this year, the Ministry of Health phased out the syrup treatment for children, replacing it with pellets. This was done in conformity with the global standards. Pellets came to substitute the syrup because the syrup had, had challenges. It used, to, it used to be unstable in, changes to, in any changes of temperature and environment. It, used, it, it, used to be, it had to be kept under refrigeration that is called chain between temperatures of 2 degrees centigrade to up to 8 degrees. And this is why the pellets are considered a better option. For, for babies who are able to swallow, of course that's uh, at 6 months and above of age, uh, we, we, we encourage and actually it's advisable and recommended that pellets to, are to be taken in a food medium or a drink or milk because these babies who cannot chew food, they cannot swallow tablets, that means they cannot even chew. However, according to Hadija, the syrup was easier to administer. But just like any other drug, the pediatric line of treatment also has side effects, some of which can be too harsh for the little ones. Common side effects could be diarrhea, a little bit of nausea, and some may vomit in the early weeks, the first two weeks of medication. Toxicity can occur at all age groups, and in babies, we normally look at the, the skin lash. Skin lash can occur, so we empower the mother to observe for any skin changes, and the long-term toxicities, we keep monitoring the babies every month doing lab tests to see if there is any issues with their liver and kidney. That is after a long period of time. Mkusoka wiki ya soka nga baka jimpa, ya soka ne muisa bubi. Nga bela wiki, every time nga yagala kwe baka, na yo rama la ninja ni mbuza muku musao, dagali mwatu wa wachidu mfulo kubela wiki. Musao na ngamba, yuchile itiranga ya kalitu andika, ni wanabali manjide, ajia kutereira. However, we advise the mother to give enough fluids so that the baby keeps rehydrated. We porridge, we have fruits, we have It has been proven medically that once viral load is suppressed, there are possible chances of not transmitting the virus. That is why Uganda has also adopted a test and treat program whereby anybody found positive is started on antiretroviral treatment. The president also launched an initiative on fast-tracking HIV and AIDS this year, which is aimed at having no new infections 
by 2030. Walter Mwesije, NTV.